Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, what is up? My name is Nicole. Definitely make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe so every time I upload a video, you guys will be notified, okay? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this flawless clip weave, quick weave, clipping extension application on my hair. Like, we, I don't know what we're going to call this video, but I'm going to show you how to flawlessly apply clipping extensions to your hair. I have been wearing clipping extensions for the past two weeks and I have been getting so many requests, so many compliments and so many questions on how it is that my hair looks like this. You guys don't know that it's clipping extensions, like you think I got a full on weave, okay? Um, with the way I've applied it, with the way it looks. Um, I've been getting so many questions, comments, requests, compliments, everything on how I have got my hair to look like this. Um, and it is super simple and it is super easy and it is using clipping extensions. This video is sponsored by one of our friends, okay? Curls Queen, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out Curls Queen. I'll leave all the links and everything you need down below as well as on the screen so you can get some money off when you purchase from their website. They sponsored this video and I am able to show you how to flawlessly apply clipping extensions to your natural hair, whether it be curly, straight, relaxed, textured, whatever type of hair you have, they have you covered and so do I, okay? So do I. This was super easy to achieve, super easy to apply. The technique is really important because if you don't have the technique down, you're gonna see your hair. Guys, I am able to pull all my hair to the front. You know sometimes when you apply clipping extensions to your hair and you bring all your hair to the front. If you have short hair like me, typically able to see like the short pieces right here in the front, with this technique and with this routine, you can't see any of my natural hair. All my hair is pulled to the front right now and you cannot see my hair. And that is what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. Now, I didn't do any crazy styles. I kept it sleek, I kept it simple. Middle part, sleek straight down because that is typically how I wear my hair. And I know that is how a lot of you guys typically wear your hair as well. So I wanna be true to myself and I wanna show you how it is that we can achieve this look when you're doing your everyday hairstyle. And I also didn't manipulate the texture of the hair as well because I want you to see this for yourself, okay? This is light, yakky hair. Can you guys see that, the shine? the luster, the colour, the texture. This hair is Brazilian, okay? Brazilian yaki, light yaki hair. It matches my relaxed hair beautifully. I haven't straightened my relaxed hair or anything. I literally just applied the clippings to how I would, you know, apply it on any other day because I didn't want to, like, manipulate the hair. This is the hair in its true state, in its true form, straight out the packet. This hair is 253 grams, so it is super thick. This is by far one of the thickest extensions I have ever tried in my life. Like, I have never come across clipping extensions that are this thick, this nice, this luscious, this heavy before. It feels really lightweight on my head. It does not feel like I have anything on my head right now. It feels very lightweight but the hair is super thick, okay? They provide you with two sets of each clip-in, um, which is very unique to this company as well because typically when you get clip-in extensions, they send you like two two-piece sets, two three-piece sets and two four-piece sets and then two one-piece set and you know, they expect that to cover your whole head. But if you're someone like me who's got really thick hair, a lot of hair and you've got short hair, you need a lot of hair in order to cover everything. I'm only wearing one bundle, one packet of their clipping extensions. And as you can see, this is the thickness of not even half my head. Like, I've still got all this half here. This is just like a quarter of the way. Like, this is by my ear. So my ear is right here. This is all the hair from my ear right now. And this is how thick this section is. So if you guys are interested in them, make sure you check the link down below and click the description. I'll also put a discount code on the screen for you guys because if I can get you some money off, of course I'm going to get you some money off while we you know, look cute every single day. So if you guys wanna see how it is that I transform my short hair into this long, luscious hair that looks like I'm wearing a wig or even a weave, then continue to watch. Before we do that, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe and click that bell. So every time I upload a video, you guys will be notified. Now, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. You're gonna need some got to be glued um, gel or eco styler gel just something you're gonna need something to lay your baby hairs because girl 
mine look crazy mine are out of order i don't know what it is as well you guys i feel like the older i'm getting my hair is changing i have blonde edges my edges turned blonde last year like randomly um my edges just turned blonde i don't know if it's because of the relaxer i don't relax my hair as often as i used to but my edges have turned blonde and i have like ginger hair in my family like my brother's got a beard that's brown but it's got ginger streaks like we we got different colored hair in our family but my edges are like turning blonde i love it it's very unique i haven't seen anybody else with this before um and i haven't dyed it either i i love it but yeah this was just so off topic but i felt like i had to share it because you guys are so you guys are so invested in my hair so i need to tell you about what's going on with my hair you're also going to need some rubber bands or like elastic bands you know like ooh, what happened there um, you know like these ones like these little rubber bands to secure the braids in the back of your head because we are going to be braiding Half our hair up like we would if we were doing a half up half down It's just going to help your clipping extensions, you know apply a lot more seamlessly You're also going to need some bobby pins. You're going to need some hairspray. This is the Tresemme Salon finish firm hold hairspray. I really like Tresemme hairsprays because they give you hold that you need without the crunch okay if i was to use something like got to be that's really going to hold my hair but it's going to make my hair crunchy and hard as well which means that i'm not really going to be able to manipulate it the way that i want to if i'm changing my style but with something like this like tresemme or um l'oreal hairsprays they give you the hold without the crunch so you can easily you know brush it out and do different stuff if you want to but this is what i'm going to be using today you're going to need a edge brush again to slick your edges down you're going to need a hair tie you might need a couple of these um, but this is just to gather the hair on top of the head and you know all that kind of stuff so you're gonna need a couple of these you're going to need a ball bristle brush to slick your hairs down and you're going to need a rat tail comb to define your part and just make sure everything looks nice neat and even last but not least you're gonna need your extensions okay again provided by curls queen i've just laid out all my extensions on my bed i recommend you doing this like put all the pieces together and lay them out so that when you go to apply it it's quicker it's easier and you know where everything else i just want to show you what i meant by two sets of clippings but one is wider just in case you guys don't know so this is a two-piece clipping extension which looks like this so it's got two clips at the back and this is what one of them looks like and then this is the other one so again it's two piece so it's got one here and one there okay so it's two piece the same as the other one but can you see this one oh this one is a lot wider so if we were to put the smaller one on top do you see what i mean so this is not one of them and this is the other one so they're both two piece clippings with two clips only two clips not three not four just two and this one is wider so with it without it do you see what i mean so yeah like th 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 these extensions are just crazy like when i tell you they cover my hair they cover my hair and sometimes I have some left over. Um, like sometimes I apply it in different ways and I have some left over. But that is how thick and how like amazing these extensions are like. All right, so now we've got everything we need, everything is assembled and everything is laid out perfectly. It's now time to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate my hair in half. But I'm going to leave a lot more hair in the bottom than I am in the top, just like that. I'm going to take my rat tail comb and I'm just going to try and make even sections. The lines don't have to be like 100% neat or anything like that. But the neater they are, the better it's going to be because then you don't have like any weird bumps or any weird lines and... You know like everything covers evenly you kind of want to treat this like you would if you were getting a sewing um like a half up half down sewing the application is exactly the same if you're wearing your hair down in a middle part in a side part it's exactly the same you guys um once you have the like proper placement down for your clippings you can literally do any style you want to afterwards like it's, it's that simple because the parting and everything is already laid out for you to make life easier okay so i've just gone ahead and parted a like circle around my head 
for the most part I think it's even I'm going to show you in a sec what it looks like um, from the back so this is what it looks like as you guys can see um, it's not like super neat at the back but it's as neat as I can kind of get it and this is all the hair that we're going to braid away I'm just going to separate these pieces here so my my front hairline pieces here I'm going to separate them from the rest of my hair because um, you know you might want to like tuck some hair behind your ear and it's just going to help it look a little bit more believable if you've got hair in the front so you just want to separate your hair into two pieces like this so using my hair band I'm going to band to knot this one this side out the way for now we'll come back to it later but I'm just going to band to knot this out the way and then with this side of my hair I'm going to cane row it I'm not going to do regular braids I'm going to cane row my hair back um, just so that again when I go to um, apply the extensions to it and I clip the hair to my hair everything is nice and flat all right so you just want to go ahead and do this if you have like really thick hair like me what you can do to make life a bit easier is you can cane row these sections into like thinner pieces it doesn't necessarily have to be two big braids on the side of your head um, you can do like four or five cane rows back here if you want to but I'm lazy I ain't got time so I'm just gonna cane row it into two big pieces like this and you just want to go down and down and down until you reach the end of your hair and you want to try and do this as tight as possible because the tighter it is the better it's going to be because then your extensions are going to be flat against it and also um it's just going to look better especially if you've got silky straight hair like me you need it to be tight because it will loosen trust and believe <laughs> So now I'm going to take one of my elastic rubber bands that I told you we need and I'm going to, oh hold on, I can see it trying to loosen up a bit and this is what I mean, it has to be tight you guys. And then taking our rubber band we're going to secure it in the back like this so it should look something like that okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side so this is what it should look like. So you've got your two cane rows like this, nice and flat, nice and tight and we are ready to go. So now that we have cornrowed our hair out of the way, it is now time to apply the clipping extensions. So what I like to do is, I like to think of my hair as a triangle, like an upside down triangle. So you want to start off with smaller pieces and gradually add larger pieces. And then when you get to the front, you're going to add smaller pieces, meaning small to big, big to small. Because when you look at our head, you know, it's small, then it gets larger, then it goes smaller again. So that's how we're going to follow this method. So I'm going to start off with my two piece clip, but I'm going to take the wider one and I'm going to apply it to my head. I would typically put the clip in like this, right? But if I do that, these pieces underneath are still going to be shown. I don't want you to see that so I'm going to take my clip in I'm going to lift my hair up and I'm going to place the clip in extensions like this okay so they are underneath the hair just like that so my hair is sitting on top of the extension if that makes any sense now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a three piece clip just like that and curls queen are great because if you don't have enough clips or you don't have enough thread they literally provide you with that so you can you know put more clips in if you need to and I'm going to go as far down as possible and I'm going to clip my hair like that so we're gonna go as far down as possible and now look bring my hair to the front the braids are hidden in the clippings do you see that the braids are hidden so you can't see the braids so now I'm going to take my four piece clip and this is the other one so I'm going to place this one directly on top so now I'm going to take my other four piece clip but this is the wider one and I'm going to open it up like this and I'm going to place it directly on top
Okay, so I've just applied two of the larger four piece clips to my hair. And as you can see, my hair looks really full already. Do you guys see that? It looks really full already. You actually can't see any of the braids that we put down. You can't. And if I lift my hair up to do a ponytail, again, it you can't see anything. You can even take some of your natural hairs out, like your baby hairs, and you can pull it down and that will cover the back. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my final four piece clip, but this is the smaller one, not the larger one. So we do two piece clip, large one first, three piece clip, second, four piece clip, but small one next. Then you wanna do two of the four piece clips that are larger on top. Now we're reaching the top of our head here and we've got a little bit of space. We're gonna take our four piece clip, but the smaller one. So, so far we've used all the four piece clips. We've used one of the three piece clips and one of the larger two piece clips. And I'm gonna take the four piece clip like this, and the smaller one, like I said, and I'm just going to put that in the gap that is missing here. And we're gonna use this to fill out these pieces. But before we do that, I can kind of see that I need a bit of hair here. So I'm just gonna add some. So now that we have got our extension right up to the line, can you guys see that? Right up to the line, we're now gonna fill in the rest of the hair so that you can wear your hair in the middle part and the side part is completely up to you. So I'm going to start off by taking my rat tail comb and again, I'm just gonna create a half circle um, like how we did it the first time, but I'm gonna leave quite a lot of hair down, you guys. I'm not gonna be shy. I'm gonna leave a lot of hair because these extensions are thick. So you wanna take advantage of that. And if you leave thicker slices of your hair down, like thicker pieces of your hair, you're gonna be able to cover more. If you apply thin slices of your hair down, you're not really gonna have a lot of hair to cover it. So it's really important, you guys, when you take your hair down like I am, like this, that you actually put down thick pieces like how I'm doing so that you can actually have hair to cover it. So we've got our little square right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my three piece clip, my final one, and I'm going to go around the back. So I'm just gonna take it, I'm going to place it in the middle and on the sides here like that, okay? But you wanna make sure when you do this, um, you're not bringing the track up too high because you also don't want your hair to have like a bubble, you know, where it's like really humpy back here. You want it to be flat. Now with the little pieces that we have left, I'm gonna go ahead and split my hair in half because this is gonna make it easy for me to do this. So I'm gonna section my hair in half because I want a middle part. That is just how I like to wear my hair just like that and I'm just going to comb everything down Ooh, just like that as you can see these pieces are really thick and these pieces are really long so what we're going to do now is I'm going to section this bit in half again just like that and I'm going to take a two piece clip the small ones and I'm going to put one here I'm going to put one there just like that okay and that covers all of those pieces really well. And then when I go to comb my hair down on top of it, it looks like this. Can you see? And you see how this matches my texture perfectly as well. Like this, this matches my texture really well. Um, yeah, it's just, it's amazing. And obviously my hair's a bit um, dented right now from how I slept. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to comb my hair down on top of it. And that is it. That is it. And look, if I put half my hair back and I bring half my hair to the front, you can't see my short pieces with the hair because everything blends together. Everything literally blends. And look, if I bring all my hair down, 
you can't see any of the tracks none and look you can put it behind your ear because of how we've placed it and because we left these pieces out it looks super believable right guys you can't tell me nothing you can't tell me this isn't my hair you can't tell me that this is not my hair like you can't you're not allowed to all that's left is a larger two-piece clip okay I'm not gonna place it up here because if I do it's gonna look quite bulky but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna place it underneath so I'm just gonna find space now that's what I do when I have one that's remaining I just go around my head and because everything is like sectioned off really well and neatly it's so easy to do this you just go around your head like that and you just find room wherever you didn't put a track or you've got a little bit too much room or whatever just find the room and apply the clip literally um, it's that simple it is that simple now I'm gonna take my comb my brush I forgot to mention you don't need a brush but if you have one you have one if not if not you can use your rat tail comb but now I'm just gonna brush everything into place and look, I can bring all my hair to the front and you can't see any of the twists or the plaits in the back. You can't see anything, like, you literally can't see anything. To finish off this style, we're gonna go ahead and fix these edges, honey, because they do not look right at all. I'm gonna take my Got To Be Glued and my edge brush, which looks like this. And I'm just going to use this to just slick down my edges and this is just going to help everything look a lot more polished and put together just like that and then taking a little bit left I'm just going to fix this little piece up here kind of brush that into my hair like so okay so now we're going to go in with our hairspray by Tresemme and we're just going to use this to spray the top of it because like I said you do have leave out you do have your own hair on top and if you are going outside the last thing you want is for the wind to blow Hurricane Katrina <laughs> to come and just reveal all the hard work that we've just done no mail we do not want that at all so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray very lightly the top of my hair just like so and this is just gonna lock everything in place so it does not move okay I'm going to take my ball bristle brush and I need this brush because it's going to smooth it out. If I just use a comb, it will comb it out, but you might be able to see some of the tracks. But this is going to really just smooth everything out and give you that frontal look, that closure look, that leave out look, okay? It's going to make it look like you hot combed the heck out of your roots when you really did it. That is how we apply clippings to our hair without there being any trace or any sign of your natural hair peeking through, especially if you have short hair like me. The only thing that you can see that we can't do anything about is these um, short pieces that I have here in the front. But I can literally, if I really cared, like I can just um, hairspray it into the hair like this. Like I can hairspray and everything will look like one. But I don't mind that you can see it because you know it just adds that layered effect sometimes and also you know if I really wanted to I can just curl these pieces and have it look like curtain bangs right here you know I can curl the ends and curl the front and have it look like I've got some sort of curtain bang action going on you know like a light layer it was so easy right it was so simple it was so easy it, it's just yeah one of the easiest hairstyles to do using clipping extensions like you can literally have your hair done on a budget it takes no more than 20 minutes so you don't have to go to auntie's salon and wait six hours to get your hair done when you can literally just do this at home in 10 minutes and go outside and go about your day like clippings have just made life so much easier and what i also love about curls queen clipping extensions is that because they are clipping extensions it's not a permanent style that i'm sticking to because as an influencer and as someone who likes doing my hair and changing my styles i might not want to wear my hair like this all the time maybe i want to wear a sleek bun tomorrow but if i get a sewing 
it, I have to make sure that sewing lasts because I paid money to get my hair sewn in, do you know what I mean? And, and if you're also someone who doesn't always like wearing wigs and you just want to give your hair a break, like your natural hairline a break and your edges a break, clipping extensions is just so convenient because you can literally put them in tonight and take them out tomorrow. And if you like wearing short hair and long hair like I do, you can have short hair on a Monday and long hair on the weekend and no one can tell you nothing. No one can tell you nothing because it looks like your hair. This is some thick hair, you guys. Like, look at that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and let me know down below so I can continue to make more and give you more goodies, okay? If you like hair tutorials in general, comment that down below as well so I can continue to make more tutorials for you guys because I know you lot like tutorials but I just wanna make sure you wanna see more of them. Um, and if you like this type of content, give it a like and a thumbs up as well because you might as well yeah might as well okay thank you so much to curls queen for sponsoring this video and thank you for providing us with this luscious gorgeous hair guys they have other textures on their website i'm not gonna say anymore i'm gonna let you see for yourself i'm gonna let you see for yourself okay yeah links will be down below coupon code will be on the screen i love you all take care stay safe and i will see you in my next video Mwah. bye